Hi. Hi, Bumblebee. Yeah, I sort of waited to see uh, if somebody came on before I opened this up. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. I'm a reseller on eBay and a little bit on Poshmark. And I think I'm going to open an Etsy store. I've been thinking about it. So uh, maybe in the next few weeks, I'll also be on Etsy. Uh, I'm here to do a What Sold video the past week. This past week, I haven't felt my best. So um, when I don't feel good, I don't really do much on eBay. So if you don't list, you don't sell. That's really true. It just does something to the algorithm. It takes a couple days. If you don't list for a couple days, it takes a couple days for eBay to catch on, and then you don't have sales for a couple days. So that's what's been happening this week. Uh, I only think I sold seven things on eBay and two things on, on uh, Poshmark. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on eight things on eBay, two on on Poshmark. So I only had ten sales all week. However, some of them were okay sales. They I didn't have any really horrible sales, so that was good. Um, yes, I've been Listening to Brittany, thank you for uh, telling me about her. I'm enjoying her videos and learning more about uh, plus size clothing. And also, she's the one that sort of is making me want to open an Etsy store. Now, there's lots I could sell on an Etsy store because um, I have a lot of vintage, vintage dishware in there. I can put that on. I think it'll do better on Etsy than on eBay for sure. And some of the clothing that I'm uh, coming across uh, from these bags that I'm opening, uh, I could put them on Etsy. The one that spurred me on the most is that really antique tiny little bed jacket. I looked up... Uh, bed jackets, antique bed jackets on eBay, and they don't bring that much. But if you look them up on Etsy, they're at least they're asking a lot more than on eBay. The trouble with Etsy, uh, I haven't found that you can look up solds. Uh, Bumblebee, do you know if that's true or not? Do you sell on Etsy? Uh, I haven't found a way to find the sold prices. So I don't know if you can look up solds or not. And really, what people are asking for things really doesn't tell you the true story of what ends up happening. So I would really like to find out if somehow you can find out, uh, maybe you have to go you have to be on a certain seller, and then maybe you can do it that way. I don't know. Anyway, what else? Oh, my daughter. There's a couple older ladies in behind her. Their, their yards jut up against each other, and they have dogs. And, uh, of course, Michelle always loves everybody that has dogs. So uh, she was talking to them, and the one lady, unfortunately, has uh, cancer and has lost a whole lot of weight. Well, she she's okay now, <clears throat> but she doesn't intend on going back to her former weight. And uh, she used to work in Catherine's. That's uh, the plus-size store. And she worked in there for quite for three or four years, and then they closed Catherine's in the shopping center where my daughter is not too far from. 
So when they closed, uh, she had the uh, opportunity to buy a whole lot of things at really cheap prices. So she was stocking up on a lot of clothes and they're all plus size clothing. And she even bought jewelry, lots of jewelry. So when she lost all this weight, she's going to get rid of all that stuff. And she uh, told Michelle about it. And Michelle told her about me. And she says, well, she, she'd love to give it to me instead of taking it to Goodwill. So my daughter is going to collect some more bags of things for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad she was really up on that. And uh, she asked me if I sold jewelry. I said, well, I will. I just don't have much jewelry. I never look for it to, to buy it. But if I get it free, of course, I'll sell jewelry. Uh, so also I learned from uh, Brittany. Yeah, I learned from Brittany that sometimes jewelry, costume jewelry, is made or they sell like would be in Catherine's. The, the jewelry that they would sell are are really for bigger size people because you can't have a tiny little necklace because a lot of people if you're a one or two x person a lot of times your neck is bigger than you know a size four person so i don't know maybe the jewelry is bigger and chunkier and whatever but yeah i'll take whatever she wants to just give free is good <laughs> so yeah, I don't know when I'll get it, uh, but she's going to uh, go around and pick it up from her, I guess. Lots of it is new with tags also that she just bought because it was on sale and she never got to wear it and uh, before she lost all this weight. So that's sort of exciting. Now... Uh, also across from in the back of Michelle's, Michelle has a double lot. So she backs up to two different yards. And the yard, uh, the one yard just, well, it's not just, about five months ago, got a little black lab puppy. Now she had lost her lab a year ago, about a year ago. She's always had black labs. Uh, she had first the one she had first was named Trouble. And then the one we got for her, she mourned for that dog a long time. And we waited for three or four years, I think it was. And we went and got a really good American breed um, Labrador. We had to go all the way, I think, to Whitcliffe. Um, and I picked out the little puppy. It was tiny. But then he had to come back because they didn't let them uh, leave till they were about 10 weeks old. So we brought it home, and it was near to Christmas. So I had the dog uh, for like a month before Christmas, and then we surprised her for with it. Uh, I have a video I had put, we had her searching the house for it. We had, gave clues in different things. Someday I'll put that on and I'll tell you where to find it. Uh, it always makes me cry at the end when she realizes. Uh, hi, Sue. Yeah. So anyway, this puppy is sort of at the gangly stage, you know, teenage stage, five, six months old now, gets into everything. They've always had little Shih Tzu pup puppies, little, t little dogs. She they never had a big dog. And the reason they got this black lab was because they really loved Trouble, Trouble 2. She named it after her first one, and she just named it Trouble, too. So 
he would come over and pet trouble and talk to him and everything. And I'm sure that's why they got this little Labrador puppy. Well, it's at a stage now where labs stay puppies for a while and they like eat your whole house till they're two years old. It's hard to train them not to chew for sure. And they have so much energy. So he was talking to Michelle about the puppy and uh, he was trying to put up these screens around his pool. And while he was putting them up, the dog went right through one. <laughs> so, you know, this dog is a lot for them to handle when they've never had a big dog. So he was talking to her about it and she has told him numerous times, if you ever give up on this dog or if you want to uh, uh, decide you didn't want a big dog and go back to little dogs, I will take this dog or I will buy this dog off you. So she says he seems more and more like they're thinking about it, especially his wife. I think it was his idea that they got this dog. But anyway, but she's told him that she will pet sit this dog. She will run this dog for them for a price because she used to do a little bit of pet sitting and uh, talk to him about that. So she'd like to run the dog every day. You know, these, these dogs are very high energy and they need a lot of exercise. You can't leave them sit inside while they go off to work and then expect them to be good. They need exercise. They need to be run. They need a job. So that's where that's going. Let me see what you're saying here. So with this new info, does that change things in regard to your next box? I've been made a patriotic box for you. Oh, that's good. If you want it. No, I like getting your boxes. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it. But don't wait too long to send it. Yeah, we don't want to wait too long if it's a patriotic box. No, you can send it. Uh, I'll let you know how many clothes you know, we're talking about, I don't know. She says there's a, you know, there's a lot, but she doesn't know what a lot is. A lot is what I got from Judy. <laughs> so I'm sure it's not that much. Uh, and, oh, Sue, let me tell you, I feel so stupid. You know, my sister sent me, a gift card for my birthday and I'm just getting around to it now it's nice hundred dollar Amazon card now the last one you sent wasn't this type that you get at the store I don't think or I would have figured this out it took me a half hour to realize because it's pasted down really secure and it didn't feel like there was a credit card in there. And when I went to redeem it, I just put on the credit card number. That's not what they wanted. They wanted this claim code number, which is you can't see till you take the card out of here. Well, finally, I peeled it apart, and lo and behold, there's a card. There's a card with the code number and everything. So... I redeemed it. It's on Amazon now. I felt so stupid. A half hour it took me to figure that out. As I get older, I'm telling you, I fear what this is going to turn into. You did too. Or maybe it was... Didn't you send me this? Yes, you did. No, you sent me a Starbucks. Okay, I'm sorry. This is from uh, uh, Linda and Carl. <laughs> See, I don't even remember because it was, you know, a few weeks back. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, you sent me the Starbucks. That's right. <laughs> oh, my. I'm losing it. It made me really think about 
in a year, I'll be. I'm wondering whether I can, how long I can keep doing this whole thing. And another thing I wondered is, you can't just, yeah, this it is. It's thin like paper. That's why I couldn't feel it in there. Uh, I'm wondering how would I turn this business over to my daughter? You can't just give it to somebody else. I did find that out. So I don't know whether she just has to come. She just would have to take all this inventory and start over on her own store. <laughs> Keep thoughts possible. Yeah. I have good days. I'm having a good day today. But then I have really <laughs> bad days. So I don't know. It would have been a Panera, but you couldn't have gotten there. You couldn't have gone there. No, I would buy stuff through the takeout window because I go in there once in a while. I still have money left on um, the Christmas card that Carl and Linda gave me from Panera to use up. Uh, yeah, I usually get their chicken soup. I can still eat that. Uh, yeah. After we get off here, I'm going to go make some macaroni and cheese and have it with tomato soup. I think if I cook the macaroni, because it's not Stouffer's, which I usually get. It's the regular macaroni and cheese that you, you make, make yourself. I think if I cook the noodles long enough and they get mushy enough, I can probably eat it. I have a real taste for macaroni and cheese. So, anyway, oh, the landscapers came, well, the landscaper. He has, I found a landscaper that's right up the road from me, two minutes away, right next door to my vet. And, uh, yes, he's he's Sandy's vet, I mean, Sandy's uh, neighbor, and he takes his animals to her, too. So, uh, and he's a really nice guy. We talked for a long time, but he walked through my garden with me and listened to everything I said and wrote, was taking notes, because I want a few things saved. I want a lot of things dug out. I want it made really simple. I can't do that anymore. I want things uh, easy to maintain. They're going to kill all the weeds first and come back and uh, do the rest of the work. But, yeah, it's a price I can afford. And we'll, he'll talk to me about maintaining it like once a month or whatever it needs also. So that's another thing I wanted. So once he finishes that garden, I have other things, other gardens for him to work on too. Not as big as that, but just other spaces that need trimmed and things like that. He doesn't do lawns, which is fine because I have my own lawn guy. So that turned out good. I don't know exactly when he, they're coming back. Uh and another good thing, he doesn't ask for money up front. And I always like that. I don't like to give a bunch of money up front and then you don't see him for a month and you start to worry, you know. Although he's right up the road, I know where he lives. So he's happy that he got a client right close because he used to live in North Royalton, which is like, I don't know, 20 minutes at least maybe 30 minutes away from here. And most of, so most of his clients were from there. So he's just started to build up, uh, trying to build up more clients in this area. And here I am right two minutes away from him. So, yeah. Let me see here. 
If I was to add my daughter's name on the account now as a joint account, maybe that would help. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to ask about that. Yeah, good idea. <clears throat> All right, she could even start with some of the things and start seeing how eBay works and try listing them. I mean, they give you very good instructions as far as becoming a new eBay uh, person. Of course, it wouldn't be a new account, but I don't know. I'll have to think about that. So let me share my screen and let me tell you the things I did sell this past week. <clears throat> Look at here. The very first thing I sold last Sunday was this cute little velvet beanie boo tie plush animal with the gold glittery eyes. He's so cute. You can tell he's never been played with with a kid. I don't buy anything that looks like kids have owned them. These are all uh, probably from collections. But little uh, bear whose name was Brownie, uh, went for the asking price of $15.52. That was a sale price, but only 10% off. And it went to King, North Carolina. It was free shipping, so I did have to pay shipping of $3.51. But, uh, yeah, so that was a nice sale. And let's see. The next thing is a Poshmark sale. And this item sold its Zara Basic, and it's a black drawstring uh, trouser pant in a large. Uh, they have sort of an elastic and a pole string waist. And this item sold for $18, of which I got $14.40. And this went to Houston, Texas. <clears throat> and then uh, this maxi skirt. This was a wraparound skirt that uh, this big belt buckle here held it together. And it sold for uh, an offer, a best offer of $22. Now, I think Bumblebee, did you give me this? This either came from you or a thread up box. Uh, so that sold for twenty-two dollars. Uh, they paid shipping, and I, I paid a little less shipping, so they made a little bit more. It went to El Alpharetta, Georgia. <clears throat> And the next thing is a Poshmark sale. This is a cute little kimchi blue uh, floral dress. It sold for $15. And I made $12 off of that. Now see how cute that picture, that's a stock picture. Now the pictures that I put on are like this. It does. It just doesn't do it justice as when you have this cute stock picture, but you're not allowed to, well, you're not even supposed to do it on Poshmark, but everybody does it, and you don't, you can't do it on eBay for sure. So it sold on Poshmark, and it went to Auburn, California. The next thing is this Thomas Dean men's shirt uh, in this bold stripe. It was a size large, and that sold for $21.77, and that's an offer I sent out to watchers. And somebody picked it up, and it went to Irving, Texas, another Texas sale. And uh, they paid shipping, and I paid a little less shipping. So I made a little bit more on shipping. 
just not much, less than a dollar. Now here's a Chico shirt. Now this is an older sale, I can tell with the background. I don't use that background anymore. This was a size one, which is a, I think a medium in this very lightweight, uh, sort of crepey type fabric with long sleeves. And it sold for a best offer of $19.80, which is kind of a strange best offer, but I took it because it was on sale on my store for $22.49. So that was a good offer. And uh, they paid shipping. I paid a little more, less, a little more than a dollar less than that. So I made another dollar on it, which helps. And it went to El Paso, Texas. So this is my week for Texans, um, Texas sales. <clears throat> and here's a J. Jill. This is J. Jill Love Linen. And it's a short sleeve top, uh, sort of had a asymmetrical hem on it there and it was a size medium it was a pretty dark royal blue and that sold to somebody i don't believe it in spicewood texas that's like four texans in a row bought things uh they gave me a best offer of twenty dollars which i took uh they paid shipping i paid 50 cents or a dollar less so another dollar onto that. Uh, here's a little British khaki. Now I, I know I bought these. These because uh, I I sell British khaki novelty shorts. Uh, unless you sent this when I was talking about it, I'm not sure. I think I got them. They have little watermelon slices all over. Cute. So uh, they sold for the uh, sale price of thirteen forty nine. Uh, they did not pay shipping. That was a free shipping on that. I'm not sure why. It went went, went to Knoxville, Tennessee, but I had to take another three dollars and fifty one cents out of that price. So about ten dollars I made on that, plus fees and what I spent. So not much. I didn't make much on that. But it sold. Now we have a vintage uh, piece. This is by Adams. It's English uh, ironstone. A little small picture. This is only about four inches high. It's just a small, cute, very cute little picture. And there's the bottom. Uh, has a registered number and everything. It's made in England. So I sold that for $34. No, I took a best offer of 22 cent an offer out for 2277 on this little picture and somebody picked it up. They paid shipping. I paid about the same shipping as they did, so and it went to Lafayette, Louisiana. And one more item, which is a good one sold a pair of, these are men's, Adriana Goldschmied uh, jeans in a 32 by 30. They are called Protégé Straight Leg. And those sold for a best offer of $42, which I took. Because I've really had no interest in these, which I'm so happy to find those AG jeans when I do. And then, I don't know, I had them priced high to begin with, and then they were on sale for $58.49, but I did take the offer of $42, so made a little few pennies more on sh uh, shipping. They went to Beach Haven, New Jersey. So that is what I sold this past week. Not much, but some of the sales were okay. And uh, let me get back here. So that's, uh, I hope I do better this next week. So far today, I haven't sold anything. But late yesterday or early this morning, there is one, or no, that's the jeans. 
these genes came in too late. They came in after the male. So these these Adriana uh, Goldschmidt genes are out in the bin to be picked up tomorrow. So, yeah. Yes, I did have two Poshmark sales. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not sharing much at all. Sometimes I go on and move things around a little bit, so it moves things up. Uh, and I share some things uh, out, but not much. And I don't think that is really one of the things I, I shared, so I don't know. People must search, you know, for things and they come up. Even though, even though they're buried, if they ask for a certain thing, uh, wouldn't it come up anyway, you know, when people are searching? If, if he was searching for men's AG genes, I think they would all come up, wouldn't they? So anyway, that's how the week has gone as far as sales go. My blood pressure is going down, down, down. In fact, last this morning, it was only 119 over 70 something. I can tell when it's low, I'm, I'm more tired, of course. I'm so used to my blood pressure being high, it'll take some use being getting used to, I think, for my blood pressure to stable out at a lower you know, thing. So uh, Dexter, he doesn't seem to feel good in the mornings. Now, I give him his morning pills, which is his prednisone is one of them. And then by two or three in the afternoon, all of a sudden, he feels real good. Well, that's the prednisone, I'm sure. And he is, his appetite for breakfast is not good. But now he's hungry and he wants to eat. That's all the prednisone. But it's making him feel better, which makes me happy. In fact, he was. we were outside and there was a chipmunk on the tree, on one of the big oak trees, and he saw it and he pointed. I'm so sorry I didn't get my camera out and take a picture of that. I mean, it's such a great point he made. And he held it for quite a while before that chipmunk started going up the tree. And the ch chipmunk was going up, up, up the tree and higher and higher like this. And there's Dexter on the ground going around the tree, around the tree. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I also have a pair of cardinals have built a nest in one of my bushes uh, out that's closest to my vegetable where my vegetable gardens used to be and uh, so they're not in danger from the dog and they're not in danger from this fat cat however at least while they're in the nest the the scary part is when the young ones fledge and the little ones are on the ground and that's when Either the dog could get them or the cat could get them unless the parents move them out someplace away from this yard. Uh, I had that happen last year with blue jays and my dog got two of them, two of the babies. It's very upsetting. <laughs> but he is a bird dog. He's not supposed to be chasing chipmunks, but hey. Anything that moves. Let me see here. I meant, if I didn't, to send the stock picture of that orange fringed Chico vest to see the swish. Oh. Did I put that on? Is that on Poshmark? I don't think you sent me the uh, the stock picture. I don't think you did. I don't remember getting it anyway, but that doesn't really mean anything. <clears throat> yes, it would come up. Just depends on how many like items that come up in search ahead of yours. 
Mm, yeah. <clears throat> How funny that he really points. Oh, yeah, they really point. You've had sniffing beagles. Yeah. Now, the beagle, for sure, they go after bunnies and chipmunks and squirrels and everything, for sure. They're, they sniff on the ground. Pointers will sniff the air. Pointers will, will uh, yeah, they use their nose mostly, but they use their eyes too. I don't know if, um, if uh, hounds, but you know, pointers are part hound. They're part foxhound in there someplace. And they do have hound in them. But I know the beagles, uh, the little hounds, they they will go right down into a burrow for things, I think, right? Oh, you'll send it. Okay. Yeah, I'll hunt it up and put that on Poshmar. Oh, he has a beautiful point. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get the picture of that one, but I'm sure he'll do it again. <laughs> So that is what I sold, and uh, I've listed five things so far. I have two more here in the barrel. I have to list those as soon as I close. My eye is twitching. As soon as I close, I'm going to list these two more items, and then uh, at least have seven on. I took, I did a lot of photography this morning, which involves ironing also. <laughs> So I was ironing all morning and taking pictures. So those things are all on. I have to go on photo room and erase the backgrounds. And so they're ready to uh, measure and list them. But I won't be listing them t today. I'll put, start listing those tomorrow. I like to get a whole lot of pictures taken so I have a stash to start uh, editing and measuring. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm anxious to see what Michelle gets from this lady. And I think it would be wonderful for her uh, mental state the state she's in with her her injury and with her all the stuff that she's worried about she's becoming a hypochondriac and uh, this this would be a really good thing for her to have a, a new puppy I mean this puppy's gonna take a lot of work like they do but she's done it before she's done it twice before so. She knows what to do. So I will uh, close for now. I'll finish up with my listing and uh, go make my macaroni and cheese. So I will see you back here probably maybe Tuesday. Whatever day I feel like doing. Uh, those three last few three last bags. Also, I watched that part of that video that I did unloading those bags. It was horrible. You couldn't see anything. I'm too close. You can't see what I'm showing. So I'm going to do this next video entirely different. I'm going to uh, bring my laptop in. I'm going to uh, record on my laptop. I'll still be live. I'll do it on my laptop set it someplace over here and uh, stand back I'll be standing it'll show what the things are much better I may even unpack the bags first and lay the things out so I don't have to just take them out of the bag also so I want it to go faster and I want you to be able to see the things better because that that video was not good <laughs> so I think it'll work better trying to do it that way. So 
I will uh, be back sometime before next Thursday, hopefully. If not, it'll be Thursday. I don't promise anything because I never know how I'm going to feel. So I'll be back at least Thursday or maybe before with a uh, haul in those bags. Uh, so I'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Oh, your bee, I'm sorry, your beagle sees your cat as a prey. Uh, I would just attach myself to the cat so he knows it's yours because my my dog, who's a bird dog, has pretty much knows now that my, my chickens are mine. And even if one's loose in the yard, if I get out there and stand between him and the chicken and just tell him no and to go in the house, he will not uh, attack the chicken. He won't run after the chicken or anything. So maybe it's that he just doesn't feel like it. But when he was young, it, that wouldn't have mattered. He went a beeline and killed one of my chickens when I first got him. So, uh, yeah, I would have the cat on my lap if she lets you put it on my lap and have the beagle there and let him uh, just just keep telling the beagle it's, it's your, your cat, this is your cat. And just keep scolding him every time he starts to go after your cat. It's just repetition, repetition, repetition. And probably you probably know all that. <laughs> so, really, I'm going now. I will see you within the next week. <laughs>